Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessin. All right, let's go. When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Alvarez. Eddie, when a southpaw faces an orthodox fighter, he has some natural advantages. But one of them just comes from the fight that the righty doesn't see a lot of lefties, right? Well, that's exactly right. He doesn't have much time to practice against the southpaw, so it doesn't feel comfortable. It doesn't feel comfortable before you know it. You're not doing things that you should be doing. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. Now his opponent got away from that uppercut. Halfway through this round. Committed to the combination punching down. It's working out well up top. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work. Ricardo Alvarez is good way to protect the midsection. Alvarez is coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Scores up top with a left. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. Yeah. It's okay. Pay him back. He has found his groove with his right hand. And he's holding. Little head knocking with that right hand. Ten seconds to go in this round. Unable to connect by Alvarez. Vicious is corner better explain to him clearly why he lost that last round. His accuracy was way off. Well, if you're looking to find change on the beach, you go out there with a metal detector. Well, right now, we need a punch detector. He needs a punch detector. He needs a jab to find the mark. Don't fight his fight. Gab and move. You're okay, don't worry. You're doing fine. Here we go, round two is underway. And now he's acting like a fighter, coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. A headshot blocked. That was nice. He just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by Alvarez. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. Turn that hook over but couldn't turn it into a connect. Alvarez's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. He's doing a really good job here of being patient, and patient with a good reason, Teddy. You can tell he's got a counterpuncher mentality. What's the key to being a counterpuncher? Well, being patient, first of all, 
and understanding what you have to get your opponent to do to help you because this doesn't work just on you. It's not like the front end where you create it. It's a little help from your opponent. He's got to come in. you got to draw him into throw a punch so you can make a miss, and then you have to alleyway to land something. Halfway through round number two. Goes up top with a right hand. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort. Ricardo Alvarez is... How about that left hand? Alvarez is proving to be elusive. Got to be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Right to the belt line. And now you see the southpaw pulling the trigger with the straight left. Nice block by Alvarez. Vicious is banged by a right hand. Oh. Alvarez's blocking ability is doing well for him there. This round comes to an end here. Joe Tessitore sitting ringside as always with Teddy Atlas. Love coming to this fight venue. We always have a great time when we come to town with the exception of having to pay the bill for our entire crew on the night before when they take us out to a steak dinner. Yeah, you know, they remind me of fighters a little bit. You know, the fighters that we see that have very, yeah, every once in a while, very short arms. <laughs> you know? They these, do. They, these guys, they don't real. have the reach. No, they, they can't don't. reach for the wallet. No, they don't. And I tell you, they would be great on the inside. Really great. I wish I could put them on the inside in the kitchen where I didn't have to take care of them at the table, but great guys. Vicious is recovered nicely here. The start of this round, and he is proving to me at least that what happened in that last round is having no effect on this round. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Alvarez is giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Really frustrating his opponent now, as he's so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't, and it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's gonna leave an opening. Not hitting his mark there, going upstairs. Nice Cycle. strike Cycle. after catching one by Alvarez. A little head hunting with the left. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Vicious is once again the target of a hook. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Lord well up top. Well off the mark by Alvarez. Vicious has done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Oh, you're doing great. A lot of people may think he's putting forth a good effort just by throwing punches, but his corner would disagree. He is not being effective. No, not at all. Why? Why is he not being effective? One. Because he's not thinking about what he's doing. He's just chucking punches. He's not really putting any intellect behind it. Wow! Down he goes. He went down. So he 
goes down for the first time, but you can just get a sense that he's going to be okay. He doesn't look like he's that damaged. No, exactly, Joe. That was just a brush fire, but he doesn't want it to become a forest fire. So he's got to think in his head, why did I get caught? Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Alvarez. Took a shot, now he gives a left. And that does it for this round. That is it. That's it. I need another round like that. Just like that, all right? Doing good. All right, listen. You need to create more punches, okay? Slip his punch and throw a straight right down the middle. You gotta throw more. You gotta fight. You gotta throw more. Don't fight his fight. You don't need that. No, throw that away. Well, we heard his analysis, but as for how Teddy has scored those first three rounds, here's a look. See, that's some fine defense right there. I love that block by Alvarez. You got nice. Alvarez is impressing the judges and himself. Boyle, oh, solid. What a hook to the body. And he is down and in bad shape. a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown but he still has to impress and move forward here yeah i applaud him i give him credit but i also recognize that he's in good shape that's one of the reasons he got up off to the side a little swing and a miss going upstairs and he engages in the clinch nice and now targeting his opponent with the overhand right. Lands a big hook. Alvarez's right hand working well that time. That's a huge, look at that. Unbelievable, just the barrage continues. He's knocked down again. But his desired heart is just as strong as it was before. One, two, three, four. Look at this! Alvarez has gunned down yet another opponent. A knockout victory. Now that's how you end a fight right there. Yes, he was controlling throughout, but he made a good, clean finish with the knockout. Yeah, as a trainer, you want to know, can a guy punch? Can a guy defend? You know, can a guy control distance? But you want to know, can a guy finish? He got the answer. Yes, he can finish. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you next time.